Hello, I'm Chrissy Martin. I'm here with Chef Don Shockley and with Stephanie Christina and Marianne Buchanan from KEDT. We thought, you know, you talk about wine all the time and about the different flavors and stuff that any, you know, you have a conversation with somebody and you're like, oh, can you smell the strawberry or the cherry? Sometimes that's hard for people. So we've come up with a way, instead of spending a good $200 on an aroma wine kit, we wanted to kind of help you find a way to do it yourself. Do it at home and help you kind of recognize those flavors so when you drink something later, you'll actually kind of pull out the cherry or the cocoa or the tobacco. So the recommendation is this. Get a bunch of wine glasses, preferably clear, make life a little easier. You want to get a nice kind of middle of the road, Pinot Noir, we're gonna use the Martin Ulissi Montepulciano because it's very clean, a very soft palate, it's not overpowering. So you wouldn't wanna make this with a cab or anything like that, you wanna stick with something a little bit more medium level. And you're gonna to wanna to pour about two ounces into every glass. And you can do as many aromas as you want. And the reality is, if there's a flavor you wanna learn, it's not hard, you don't have to do anything special to get it. If you want to learn about time, find some time in your cabinet. So it's nothing too unique other than we're going to put the closest to that aroma or flavor in this glass and let it actually sit an hour with some red wine. So it'll actually become what you would find in a red wine. And if you just smell time by itself, it's a little different, Very different. than if you smell time that might have been soaking in some white wine. So we've got our red wine. And it, it's such a fun thing to do for a party. You get a bunch of people together with a new wine and these new aromas and say, can you pick it out? And, and can you, oh, I get that, I get that, uh -huh. I get that. And so it's a fun Great. thing to do for a party if you're drinking a bottle of wine, yeah. uh, especially a new wine. Have you guys ever done an aroma kit or anything? I have not. Have you seen them? They have the little tiny jars and these little things that you can smell. I think this might be a really fun way to do it. Um, they recommend doing, let's say, we'll start with some freshly ground pepper. So it's very simple, like I said, you want to smell pepper in red wine. So make a couple turns, get some fresh pepper in there, and you're good to go. My recommendation would be sticky notes. I love sticky notes. There's nothing wrong with sticky notes. So um, right on there, ground pepper. So you know what it is later, and just stick it on there. And the fun trick would be, after a little bit of time, you could stick that sticker on the bottom and recognize the actual aroma. So the other, another fun one is tobacco. You're gonna to find tobacco in a lot of cabs and, and some of the bigger wines. So, you know, just get some fresh tobacco and throw it in. From a cigarette? From a cigarette, mm -hmm. from a tobacco pipe. You know, sometimes I think you can buy them like in a bag. No. <clears throat> um, so you wanna mark it. And so we'll mark all of these. I'm not gonna do it right now, but just to kind of keep you going. What else is there? Coffee. What do you normally find coffee in? Like cabs. Cabs. Got lots of coffee in cabs. Um, do you like a fourth a cup? I mean a fourth a teaspoon. Just just a little bit of coffee. I can smell. Coffee's so strong. You don't need yeah. too much coffee in there. But gosh, it does smell. Mm -hmm. it smells good. Chocolate's one of my favorite because I feel like you can get chocolate in most Pinot Noirs. Pinot most. Noirs. Montpichanas, Cavs, Merlots, that goes Always across the board. Side of those too. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, and that's the fun part too, is when you kind of learn what's in it, then you can find amazing, because I'm not a foodie, like I know most of you guys are, but I'm not. So for me to find something that I know is in the wine, it's fun, because then I can turn around and get a chocolate bar, and I know that chocolate bar is going to go great with this wine, because it already has some essence <clears> of it in there. So you just want a tablespoon of this one and a cocoa of a cocoa. cocoa. It's cocoa powder, or you could do some shaved chocolate. Um, this one somehow turns into like kind of a slushy, nasty mess. We're going for aroma, but you're for going looks. for aroma, not for sight. You are correct. Um, let's see what else we're we gonna do. Some cherries are fun. We can do maybe just a little bit of cherry juice. Um, I, I actually put some crushed up cherries in the last one I did and kind of allows that. And then this one I thought was awesome because you know how many times you say to someone, oh, it's oaky it and it's smoky and you know, it ha and a lot of people don't know what that means. And so this is actually liquid smoke, which is you can buy at any, you know, grocery store out there and you don't need a lot, just a little drop. It's really strong. That was probably too much. Mm -hmm. um, 
And the idea is now you have these aromas. I mean, you can really do anything you wanted. What's a what's something you pull out of a lot of wines? Pepper. Pepper. No. So you put the pepper plum. Mm -hmm. You get a plum and cut it up and drop it in there because eventually the red wine is going to absorb it. So any flavor that you're thinking you might want to learn in a wine or that you read on the back. Mm -hmm. You know, that's what you want to do. A so, strong cherry finish. Yes. yes. Exactly. And so now we've made them. What we want to do is let them sit for one hour. And then we want to scoop out the um, anything that's not like liquid. So we'll scoop out the tobacco. We'll let it sit for about an hour. Okay. Let's do it. So after you let it sit for an hour, you want to go and you want to strain out all the, you know, objects. Anything that it wasn't liquid that you put in there. So, Don, you're the only one that doesn't have any more wine. So, the idea is let's play with them and take a sip of your wine and everyone kind of see what you pull out of your wine just without any help. So, I definitely get a lot of chocolate on that finish and maybe a little bit of pepper. Do you get any chocolate? I'm thinking I need an education on this. Okay, yay, I'm so glad oh. you said that. <laughs> so take this one, this chocolate, okay. and smell it. Okay. And then now taste that Primitivo again. Yeah, so. <laughs> so it kind of pulls down. It kind of changes it. it. You I can mean, really just taste it now. Mm -hmm. The smoky, uh, the smoky one is the one that I think is the most interesting because it's it's a hard thing to pinpoint with your, you know, ninety percent of what you taste comes from your olfactory, mm -hmm. so it's from what you smell. So if you can get these smells, you guys want to just play with them. Is there an Ooh, order to do black it in, pepper? Do no, you? no, just I think it's just for fun, and I think you could really go into the fridge and grab anything you wanted. But that black pepper, if you can't it pinpoint like black steak. pepper, yeah, it does. <laughs> I would love to do this with some white pepper because I think that's a little bit harder for people to pull out. Mm -hmm. The white pepper has such a softer <clears throat> smell to it. Tobacco is another one. Yes. You get a lot of tobacco in this one, but it's, it's kind of on the back end. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, but it's not what I thought tobacco was going to smell like. Smell it. Hmm. It's more subtle than most people it think. It varies very much so. And then if you smell certain ones, it's almost, I can remember tasting yes, wines exactly. just like that. Yes. Yeah. That is interesting. And it's fun. So it allows you to kind of better understand what you're drinking. Huh. And I think this is a fun way to do it. I mean, you get a group of friends together. You make your own stuff, whatever it is you're drinking. I mean, if you're drinking a, a anything, make something that you think is going to pull and teach you those different smells. Oh. It's kind of fun, right? Hmm. You did get a lot in here. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's strong, right? Brisket. Yes. Ooh, did you smell the cherry? Yes. No. It's a very strong. I don't know if there's a whole lot of cherry. I think there's more strawberry in this one. This one's That's added. what it, it there was a kind of a funny little citrusy, not but not citrus, strawberry. This strawberry. Is, that that mm -hmm. I can just, well, just kind of an acidic. What do you think? A little bit of acidic. I think it's fun. It's kind of fun, right? It's great fun. I don't know. It's a great way if you guys are interested in learning a little bit more on your own at home. Something fun to do. We'll put a little information on the website about this. So just, again, I'm Christy Martin. And you can see us on Twitter and Facebook. Have a great day.